Welcome to another training and in this video we are going to show you how to connect your website with PayPal. Now what you're seeing here is the dashboard of um, the we website you can get at yourzone.website or maybe you downloaded the blueprint and you uploaded it to your own hosting but this is the dashboard at the moment and what we're going to do is you can either click on set up shop or go to shop or WooCommerce you'll have here if it's a standard install and click on settings you'll see something like this. Obviously you will have your information filled in here. All you have to do is click on payments. You will see this. And I want you to scroll down to PayPal. Make sure you're not using PayPal standard because I think this is gonna be, um, is gonna be deprecated in a bit because PayPal just uh, created this new plugin called PayPal Payments. And um, I think that's what's gonna be going to be used um, going ahead. So go ahead and click on the toggle button or click on setup. You should see a page that looks like this and um, it's really simple. Click on connect to PayPal and as you see this window pops up and all you have to do is put in your email address if you have already created um, if you already have a PayPal account, just put in the, the, the email, your email address with which you create the account or use any email you would like to uh, create your new PayPal account and it'll automatically create for you. Make sure to choose the, the country if you're creating a new account. And it's really easy. You don't, have to, you don't need any tech experience to, to complete this. And so I'm not going to go ahead with this because this is really easy. What I want to, to show you is if this does not work for any reason, and sometimes it doesn't work, I have had clients tell me it's not working, we are going to have to do this manually, and I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So go ahead and let's close this, and you will do exactly what I'm going to show you using your live mode. We're going to do it using Sandbox. So I, I'm going to click here. You don't have to do this. Obviously, you want to connect to PayPal, not PayPal Sandbox. Then you want to toggle manual credential input and then I want you to go to your PayPal um, account log in to your account and um, if you don't see this page click on the on the right hand corner and click on account settings you will see something like this scroll down to business information if I'm not wrong and you should see your merchant ID which you will paste in this field here and yep okay the next thing is put in the email address with which you created your PayPal account with obviously this is li it's gonna be saying live email address not sandbox and then you want to access the, the client ID and the secret ID so what you do is click on developer on PayPal something like this is gonna open you want to click on get started and it's gonna ask, it's gonna say log into dashboard. Now, if you're not logged in, it'll ask you to log in. If you click this, um, what did we see? Okay, so we clicked it and we got something like this. Now, you probably don't have any, any uh, apps you created. You just have to click on live. And because you don't wanna create a sandbox app, you wanna create a live app. And then you're gonna click on create app. You're gonna give the app a name, you're gonna leave merchant because you're not creating a platform, you're just creating a merchant account that's made to accept payments. And then you don't need to use this because probably you will be seeing here the email address with which you created your account. So click on create app and um, once, you, once you do that, you should see your website uh, your app created under the live settings. So click on live. You should see the app you just created. What you'll do is click on it. Let's give this thing a second. And uh, this is this is the information. So this is the you'll probably see here uh, the email address of your live account. This is what you're going to be using. So you copy this and you save it on email address. Then you save the client ID here and then you click on secret show and make sure the status is enabled and then you just click here and right click copy and paste it 
here. Once that's done, you're gonna save. So I'm gonna just go ahead and I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. Um, I should have done that while I was saying it. I don't know why I didn't. Copy, paste, copy, paste, and let's copy the merchant ID. And save changes. And then you're going to get all these extra things that you can set up, which is a lot of stuff. So let's just go ahead and go through this. Okay, so first of all, make sure you enable the pay PayPal gateway. Scroll down. This is what people are going to see on the checkout page. So PayPal, pay via PayPal. We are going to capture the payment. We're not going to authorize it. We're going to capture it. And require instant payment means we're not going to allow payments that allow you to pay later. Okay, so anything that allows a client to pay later is removed, but that's your choice. Add the brand name. This could be the name of your website or whatever. The landing page is login, yep. PayPal account login or non-PayPal account. I would say non-PayPal account. Disable funding sources. Go ahead here and disable anything you don't want people to be using. Then vaulting, enable safe cards. To use vaulting, you must enable vaulting on your account. So just click that and do that. If you're having problems, Click, all, click on enable logging so that someone can then debug the problems you're having. You will save here as we did. Uh, um, just write your the business name. So I would probably say your zone or maybe YZ websites. So they remember it when they look at the their invoice. Enable buttons on checkout. Uh, the checkout page, yep, we wanted to enable it. Play around with this, this is just normal settings, it'll work either way. You want pay later on checkout, then enable enable on checkout. Do you want the, the, the PayPal button to, um, on the single product page, then you will click here and you will, let's say, choose whatever you want. Then pay later on single product. You will do that here. Do you want it on the cart so that basically when they click on it, it'll take them immediately to check out. Same thing for pay later. And mini cart basically is when it's on the upper right hand corner. When you click on it, it slides into the page. Go ahead and say save changes. And basically, I think you're good to go. Make sure you have enabled the PayPal gateway and you don't have sandboxed sandbox um selected and you're good to go once that's done let's click on paypal card processing what happens oh yeah i'm gonna save so that this works and uh, let's check out paypal card processing not being activated by PayPal. If, you, if your account is new, this takes some days. Please get in contact with PayPal. Okay, so basically, yeah, you're gonna have to wait a little bit. And um, this probably is because this is a sandbox account and, um, and um, that's why it's not, PayPal card processing is not working. But what I advise you, if you really want to accept credit cards, then use uh, the Stripe payment method. And we have a tutorial on that also. If you're in the course right now, it's probably the next video. If not, just uh, do a search on YouTube and it'll probably come up, okay? Cheers, see you in the next lesson.